Now we're going to show you how to add an SPF record to your domain. As you'll recall, I bought the domain emailchasernow.com and it's really important that you add an SPF record to your domain. Otherwise your deliverability is going to be bad and your emails will go to spam. This is not something you can skip. You need to do this. So please take the time to do this. I know you might be new to cold email and you're really excited to send your emails, but trust me when I say slow and steady wins the race. Don't try to rush through this. Make sure that this is set up correctly. In the past, if you set up your Google Workspace account and you bought your domain through Google Workspace during that setup process, as I showed in this video, your SPF and DKIM records would be automatically added to your domain. And most likely that's still the case now, but I'm not 100% sure. So in this video, we're gonna go through the process together. We're just gonna make sure that the domain that we just bought in Google Workspace is set correctly with SPF. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Once you're in your Google Workspace account, remember that's admin.google.com. You're gonna to go to the left here and you're gonna expand this. You're gonna click account. Then you're gonna go down here underneath domains and you're gonna click manage domains. You'll see my domain emailchasernow.com. And what I wanna do is I wanna click view details. And as you can see, this is where we're able to manage the domain. See how it says manage domain via Squarespace. As you'll recall from my previous video, Squarespace acquired Google domains about a year ago and it's recently come into effect, meaning that when you're setting up a Google Workspace account, and you're buying your domain during the Google Workspace account creation process. In the past, you used to buy it through Google domains, but now you're buying the domain through Squarespace. So even though you still have a Google Workspace account and you still have the typical professional email account through Google Workspace, which is great, the domain is now registered at Squarespace, which is fine, it's not a big deal. It just means that when it comes to managing the domain and adding your SPF record and also your DKIM and DMARC record, you're doing that inside Squarespace now. And we can access that from our Google Workspace admin panel here. So I'm gonna click Manage Domain and it's gonna open up the Squarespace login page. And as you will see here, it says, use sign in with Google to manage your domain. So once we get to this page, to access your Squarespace account, you wanna make sure that you click Continue with Google and I'm going to select the Google account that we just created, which is george at emailchasernow.com. It's really important you're following this exactly. Click continue. And then it says log into Squarespace domains. We're gonna say continue with Google. And well, I'm not sure why it made me do the same thing twice, but here we are. And I'm now inside my Squarespace account. You can see my domain, it says emailchasernow.com. It says it's active, which is what we wanna see. I'm gonna click on that. You wanna click the DNS button and then go to this section here and you're gonna scroll down and we can see that we have these custom records. We have the MX record already added, some TXT records and we have an A record, C name record, but I'm not seeing an SPF record, which means that we should probably add, well actually no, there is an SPF record, it's right here. So you can see it's already added by default. As you can see, the data says spf.google.com. As you can see, the SPF record is already added, which means that when you are creating your Google Workspace account and you buy your domain through the Google Workspace account creation process, and now it's registered at Squarespace, the SPF record is still added automatically, which is great. So we don't have to do anything here, but I just wanna quickly show you an article from Google that shows you how to add the SPF record, just in case you're watching this and you haven't done it this way, just so that you can also see how you can manually verify that it's the right record. If you go to the email chasers blog and you go to this article and you scroll further down, you'll get to the section where we talk about how to do all this stuff. And there's a section just for SPF. And as you can see under the SPF section, there's a link to this guide. And when you click that, it opens up an article from Google, which shows you how to add an SPF record to your domain. And as you'll see down here, the type is TXT. So if we go back to Squarespace, you'll see here, it says TXT. And then if we go to host, it's the at symbol. Uh, which you can see right here. And for the value, this is it right here. It's V, it's v equals SPF1, include SPF.google all. So let's just go there now and just double check to make sure it's actually saying that. It's V equals SPF1. And then we have, and you can see it's the same thing, which is exactly what we want to see. And the reason why I'm showing this to you is because I just want you to be able to understand how this is working so that you can manually verify that this is correct. And it's really important that you don't add this twice by mistake. So if you 
been following this tutorial and you did exactly what I did, it'll be added automatically. So don't add it a second time, it's already there. But I'm showing this to you so that you know, okay, this is how you can just check, double check, make sure it's still there when you're doing this yourself. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to add the DKIM record to your domain. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how to add the DMARC record to your domain. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how to verify that they're added correctly. So keep watching these videos. You're gonna see how to add them all and then also how to verify that they're added correctly. It's really important that you do that verification just to make sure that there's no issues. Because if you make a mistake with one of these, it's really gonna impact your deliverability in a negative way. So make sure that you get this set up correctly.